the most evident thing in the playoffs for us has been, especially in the last playoff, when you look at Vasilevsky and Shesterkin, is just the important of net front's presence. The goalies are too big, the pads are too big, the nets are too small, you've heard it all. But your ability to stand on top of the goalie makes a six foot three Vasilevsky go from being 10 feet to five two. So if we go to the next clip, please. Play it. This series completely changed when Tampa decided to stand on the net. So right here, Shesterkin, he's up, he's non-athletic. If we play it, he doesn't see the pass, he's looking on the opposite side. So he doesn't see the pass, he's got layers of screens to go through. If we play it a little bit further, he's now standing in front of, or he's got to fight through the, uh, the screen by Stamkos here too, and a layer of PK. Play it please. And now they're just crawling on him, they're letting him know that they're there all night. The next clip, it goes up and over. Jack Campbell's got to fight through a screen. He's got layers of PKs, he's got layer of power play guys. Play it a little further and just a little bit further. A little further than that. So he's now the shot's completely gone. It's actually between F1 and two right now. And he still hasn't moved. Now he's in a uh, bad position. He's got to rely on his size, his genetics to make up for it. Just try to time it. If we play it, it's in the back of the net. Mike Smith right here, he's fighting through it. Great job by Lannis Cog. He's looking right. McCarr shoots left. Play it. He's got to track the puck. Can't see it, it's already gone. It's in the back of the net. And we'll just see it, it's very evident right here. He's up, he's fine, and he's trying to see it. And then he becomes an unathletic, it's in the back of the net. Same thing, this is us against UBC this year. Goalie played it. He's looking, looking left, our guy shoots just right off the opposite of him, it's in the back of the net. Again, us in practice, we talk about getting our feet around. It's the same thing for the flank. Wraps his feet around, he's coming downhill. The goalie's peeking left and he just shoots it right, play it. Pretty decent shot, actually. Now this is us in a game. Shrink the PK, go right out, play it. We drag across half, we get our flank inside the dots, he's coming downhill, we're watching the goalie's head now. So we play it, he's looking left, our guy dances around, just blows it by him on the right side. And then the playoffs, Bobrovsky's standing there, he's trying to look. This is a great screen by Trelli. We go down, play it, please. He's guessing. He's standing there. He's just praying to God it hits him. Didn't work out this time. It's right behind him, okay? Us in practice, we're watching the white group, but specifically the goalie. We go up. That's a tough feeling as a coach when your goalie's there and he's going like, what the heck, man? So, but again, theory. We're standing right on top of the goalie. He can't see anything. Next, please. So then as important as it is for the, pa or for the shot, it's almost more so for the pass. Again, we talk about Vasilevsky, we talk about Shesterkin. They're big men, they're athletic, and any stop or any shot that they see, they're gonna stop. Anytime they can get a jump on something, they're gonna be right in front of it, big and square. So on these next ones, please play him. Vasilevsky, again, he's six foot three. Kreider does a great job in front of him. He's up, he's looking. The pass goes over. He is up and he's falling back. He's in an awkward position. So right now, again, he's relying on his genetics to stop it because he didn't see the puck. He's laid on it. If we play it, it goes right by him. 